Today's Morning Coffee Vinyl Side Ken Griffin, Moonlight and Roses, 1958 Ken was born in 1909, which seems like forever ago. In 1909, they were closer to the American Civil War and the time of Lincoln than we are to say an event like Woodstock or the moon landing. Up until the invention and propagation of electricity, organs were big and gainly, permanent or semi-permanent installations like church or theater organs, and few people had access to them unless access through the church or some sort of performance venue. When Hammond invented the first commercially successful electric organ in the 30s, it must have felt cutting edge both for players but also audiences. Ken Griffin was an early electric organ adopter. He made his bones playing live theater organs in the silent picture days of cinema before going electric and moving on to regular gigs in restaurants and beer halls, eventually securing a recurring spot on radio where his organ playing was broadcast regionally and later nationally. Ken and the Hammond seemed to materialize around the same time, and he, through radio, early recording, and eventually through television, became its most famous son and ambassador. Ken's life was cut short in 1956 after suffering a heart attack, his second, at the age of 46. But when he died, he left behind a storehouse of unreleased recordings, which continued to be issued as new Ken Griffin albums long after his death just like this one. For my generation, organs were certainly not novel or cutting edge, despite their use in classic rock and other contemporary music forms. Most likely this was because everyone's grandmother seemed to have an organ in their living room. They were associated with old people, churches and funerals, and hockey games. Listening to this Ken Griffin album, well, that makes me yearn for that generation. What I wouldn't give to walk into a room and see my grandmother play Moonlight and Roses. <laughs>